Okay, so what we've done, folks, we have actually cut this Armaflux to fit the can. I want you to see. Got the height. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start from the bottom, and I'm going to use this spray adhesive right here. This is very good stuff. You guys use it on your uh, metal tape when you tape your plenums. Sometimes when you tape your collar, especially the old ductwork. This works real well, so I'm just going to shake it up good. We have a nice dry surface, clean, which is the key. I'm going to pull it back, and it's very important we get the corners really good. So I'm going to start with the corners, and I'm going to be very generous. Okay, I'm going to really just soak it to it. I don't care if we use a whole can. Now I'm going to spray my Armaflex too. I'm going to spray my corners because I want a good tight fit. Now I'm also going to give it a little while to dry in this heat, which we have plenty of it here in South Florida. This is going to be on here for many years. You don't want this to come loose. If it come loose, it collapse on top of your blower motor and burn out the ECM motor again. And this particular unit is almost out of warranty. All right, so you see what I'm doing here, folks. I'm really just laying it to it here. Especially on these edges so it'll hold. Okay, now I'm going to take it up here. I'm going to put it up very closely. Let me start up here. Now what I like to do, I usually get a flat, the best, best thing that works is a paint roller. I just don't have mine this morning. I'm going to take it up here and I'm really going to push this very tight. That's very important that we do that. Now we're going to run down and we're going to really press this against it. What you're trying to do is make sure there's no air pockets, nothing left to be desired. Everything is totally tight, 100% against your backside here. Okay, now, I'm just going to pick up the bottom and roll the bottom back. And I'm going to do the same thing. See how sore my glue is? I'm going to really just really glue the hound out of this thing. This will keep your arrow handles from sweating, especially when you wet the insulation of these arrow handles. You lose the integrity of the R value, and it really never works the same. Plus, also, you have an opportunity to pick up mold and mildew, and mold spores to grow. Because wherever you're happy, the mold germs are happy. Once again, I'm going to do the edges because I want a good bite. I'm going to lay it down. And take my little, I'm going to call it my squeegee right now. Get a good, nice, firm bite. Now, just so you know, we have more arm flex here. We are going to cut a piece and put it right here. We are going to cut a piece and put it right here. Same principle. We're just going to measure it and cut it to fit. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some long screws. In this particular case, since this is three-quarter inch, I'm going to get self-tapping screws about an inch. And then I'm going to take some washers, some flat washers, and I'm going to screw periodically through here, just every once in a while, down here just to help the insulation hold just in case it ever decided to come loose again, okay? So I'll show you that in a couple of minutes.